Audrey Lacroix in the 100 Butterfly. She was the victor there. She's a semifinalist in 2008 and 2012 in this event at the Olympics, 12th actually rowdy in 2002. Great all around butterfly. We saw what she could do in the 100 Butterfly and I think the 200 is even a better event for her. Andreina Pinto from Venezuela, a two-time Olympian herself, a finalist actually in the 800 freestyle back in 2012 in London. Next to her, Diana Luna Sanchez, 23 years old from Mexico. A familiar face to American swimming fans, Caitlin Leverens, bronze in the 200 individual medley in London in 2012. The aforementioned Audrey Lacroix said last night that this is the better event for her between the 100 and the 200. So look for her as the top seed to continue her run here in Orlando. Courtney Harnish representing York YMCA, a personal best this morning. Hannah Miley, two wins herself earlier in this meet, the 200 free and 400 IM, also a two-time Olympian. Amelia Kleins in lane number seven, only 15 years of age, representing Great Britain. And our final qualifier in the women's 200 meter butterfly, Delaney Walls from the Greater Philadelphia Aquatic Club, 16 years old. Five countries represented in this final. You see Hannah Miley, great all around swimmer. You can see the versatility that she has. She's swimming the 200 fly, 200 breasts and 400 free. That's quite a triple. This is one of our arena races of the day. Well, Rowdy, in one of our earlier telecasts, you talk about how breaststrokers are basically born. The same could be said about butterflyers. This is a hard, not only a hard event to learn, but a hard event to perfect. It, it, it's a hard event to, to perfect, but the pacing of it is also very critical in the rhythm that you try to develop in a race like this. When you think about breaststroke, timing and rhythm, we talked about that last night and how important that is. It's just as important in butterfly. But I think if you ask a lot of these swimmers, and if they're in shape, butterfly can seem to be the easiest stroke because you develop that rhythm, you develop that pacing. And Michael Phelps has always said that the butterfly is really the easiest of the four strokes. He struggles in the backstroke most of all. So, yes, I mean, it depends on how, how, how well shape you're in. Audrey Lacroix was first to touch the 50, almost eight tenths faster than her qualifying time this morning. When she won the 100 fly, she took it out in relative ease, she said. She wanted to use her first 50 in the 100 rowdy to set up that win. She wanted her 100 yesterday to set up her event today. And, and that's what's so critical, having that great speed in the 100 that she had by winning this event, kind of just slips right into this 200 butterfly and it fits her so well. Again, I think the 200 fly is her best event. If there was a 400 butterfly, she'd be good at that as well. <laughs> I think there are a lot of swimmers that are glad there is not a 400 meter butterfly. I remember doing those in practice. Yes, lots of 400 <laughs> butterfly. No, wait a second. I'm a when I got in trouble. I, I never <laughs> swam butterfly in practice. Are you kidding me? No, no, much less a 400. It's all Lacroix. All the way through. She was first to touch at the 50, now also at the 100 and 150, well below her qualifying standard this morning. It's tough sometimes when you're out there by yourself and you're swimming. You get a good look with your peripheral vision either side so she knows she's in the lead. Certainly saw where she was at at the 150. If she's under 210, that's a great time. But again, for this time of the year, that'd be a top 10 time in the world so far. The Two top. minutes right there. Coming in the final strokes in the women's 200 meter butterfly, it will be Audrey Lacroix from Canada. Her second win of this meet, and she is just above 210, Rowdy, as you said. That would be a good standard for her, 210.37. Pretty solid, though, especially out there by yourself. She won by over a second and a half. Just real comfortable when she swims. Again, you jet, jet that chin right along the top of the water. Congratulated by Caitlin Leverens. A great undulation she has. You can see that she puts that chin down and then drives her hips forward and drives her head. Her head is perfectly in line with her spine. And again, beautiful turn here. Already a full body length ahead of Caitlin Leverens, who is right above her with the yellow cap. Just, and then swimming for home. There she is, breathing every other stroke. You get into a little bit of rhythm if you're breathing every other, every other stroke. Now you take somebody like Phelps, who breathes every stroke, gets into the same rhythm, but this fits her style so well. And a good victory for her to follow up that 100 win.
Audrey, you told us earlier in the meet that you liked how you set up your 100 with the first 50. Did you like the way your first 100 set up your 200 today? Uh, yeah, I like the way it felt the first 100. I think I still need to work on the second 100 to be ready for uh, our national trial in a couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, I like it uh, awesome tonight. It felt great. So, and it's always nice to win. So. <laughs> Audrey, how does this help your confidence going into your trials? And not only your trials, but also this summer as we head to the World Championships. Uh, I think it's great to have uh, the opportunity to raise different athletes, like uh, Cleveland tonight and Anna Miley, and you know, like different type of racer, like people that go out uh, faster, like Ariana Van Der Poel was last night in the 100, and people who got a really strong comeback, like Kaitin tonight. So I guess it's, it really helped me to uh, raise different kind of people and make me believe that I can race against the, the best in the world next summer. Congratulations on your double win in the butterflies. Thank you. Way to go. Audrey Lacroix, just outside the top 10 in the world with that time of 210.37. Good enough to win here in Orlando. We'll be back.